Welcome back to the Sabertooth Beaver channel. Today is part two of French cleats. We're going to show you 10 more French cleat ideas that we have. So let's get started. So a basic variation of a shelf where you have this, the back and the front and the bottom is just add three more sides, put a front and sides on this and it becomes a bin. And then if you put a French cleat on the front of it too, you have a French cleat on a French cleat. And that's kind of fun. So on this one we used a few different pencil holders. So I've got pencils, mechanical pencils, pens, and markers at, at my disposal. Put a couple of pads on the end to make it easy to get to. And then on top of that I built a French cleat to go on the French cleat. And that holds my pencil sharpeners. Keeps them right there at, hands, at arm's length. I actually put it up behind it so that they're kind of out of the way. But this is a great place to put other French pleats. Like the magnet French pleat can go on there. And you can add as many things onto there as you want. I also use shears quite often. I prefer them over scissors in the shop because they can cut thicker things like leather and thicker pieces of, of paper and things like that. I use two of them, again, because I have kids who work in my shop and you never know when one's going to go missing. But this, this one, I left the back open and just made it so it pops on there and has an open space. If I did this one over again, I'd probably make it a full box with an open bottom. That way it wouldn't scrape up the, the cleat as you're putting these in and out. But I'm pretty gentle with it, so I don't think that's going to do any damage over the long term. But that's a pretty cool, simple little cleat idea. Sometimes you don't even have to build the cleat because it comes with a natural stain on it and you get something that you think would look cool on a, on a cleat and hang it on your wall. So this is my set of router bits and it turns out they left us a corner on the top to put screws through. So I just ran a French cleat onto this thing and it hooks right onto the wall just like this. Easy access for the parts and it looks nice on the wall. So. Win-win and two screws and a piece of wood and you're good to go. So all of my things I've been putting together with Type Bond 3 Ultimate Wood Glue. It dries pretty quickly and it's very strong when it's done, waterproof and everything. But the bad news is with glue, you get to the bottom and you spray and spray and you can't get that bottom piece out. Just because you're always sitting it on the workbench this direction. So I decided to make a glue holder. And on this one they're always facing down. Glue's ready to get out, ready to spray. So for this one, I drilled out into three pieces of wood, one that's small enough for the nozzle to fit through, then the next one up was big enough for the neck to go through, and then the top one will support the body. And that pops right in, holds it real nice upright. And then I put a bottom piece on it, just in case it ever does drip, it'll catch that glue on the bottom and not drip onto the rest of my tools. And just put that on a French cleat in the configuration that works good for where I wanted it. And we're good to go whenever I need glue. Gravity's putting it where I need it. Okay, this one makes a lot of people think I have an issue. Because why in the world do you need four tape measures? Again, because I have three kids. So, and because I like to dual wield, so sometimes I'll wear two of them at the same time. But this is a really simple cleat also. Just has dividers to break them up. And then you know if one's gone, and you can chase down the kid who has it, and give them the proper punishment, which is making them hold the tape as far out as it'll go. Once in a while, Benny drops a really pretty feather. And although he likes to try to eat them, he does give them up after a while. So I got a little jar, and we keep all of his pretty feathers in there. Keep a top on it. But we made a French cleat for the jar. So that hangs on the wall. So eventually we can make a new Benny. Come back, Benny. They'll know.
Benny gets pretty jealous. He was mad that I got my own workbench, so he wanted me to get him his own workbench. Then he told me, well, this isn't very good because it's just pegboard. He really wants French cleats. So to mock him, I made a French cleat toolbox. So now we keep his French cleat tools on his little toolbox. And there's some really obscure tools like a 300 foot tape measure. You really don't need that very often, but when you do, it's nice to have one. And so I built a French cleat and put a couple of pieces of dowel sticking out of it for a few inches. So this can just hold on right there and be held on the wall. And that keeps it up and out of the way. This one I keep really high because I only need it once in a while, so it's not needed very often. But it's kind of a big tool and I don't want to take up a whole toolbox drawer with it. But I. It's one of those things you use very often, but when you do need it, it's nice to remember, oh yeah, that's up high on the ceiling, and got to pull that off the wall and go use it. And sometimes we're filming and just got to let people know. All these are on French cleats. This is a great sign. It says danger. Not only will this kill you, but it will hurt the whole time that you're dying. Another French cleat sign. What happens in the garage stays in the garage, or at least until we put it on YouTube. And because Benny likes to bite people sometimes if he doesn't know them, he's usually pretty sweet and he loves us, but we put this sign up. Warning, this property is protected by a highly trained parrot, not responsible for injury or possible death. That can happen. So in some places, uh, some parts of the world, you have rattlesnake problems. This is not a real one, but there are plenty of French cleat opportunities to put signs up on your wall. This one's kind of fun. It says, caution, there are rattlesnakes in this area. Rattlesnakes are active throughout the year. They will seek out shady places during the day. Children should be warned not to go near any snake. Reasonable watchfulness should be sufficient to avoid snake bite. So I just like this sign. It's on my wall. We do have snakes in our area, and I've had a few rattlesnakes in my yard, so... It's just kind of a fun one to have on the wall. I put this sign up right at head level. It says stress reduction, bang head here. Directions, place on a firm surface, follow directions and circle. Repeat step two as necessary or until unconscious. If unconscious, cease stress reduction activity. That one I had to get. I really like DeWalt, so I put their logo on my wall. Not that you can't tell that I kind of like DeWalt. People think I'm sponsored by them. I'm not. I just really like the company. So this just looks good on my wall. Sponsor us DeWalt. Dad, we're out of French cleat ideas. I got one last one. Hit the bell for notifications. <laughs>